Magandang hapo po sa inyong lahat and welcome to Veronica segment of the show. Today, I have a very exciting guest. And believe it or not, I'm also excited to have him here because this guest, I've known him for years. I've known him since he was a baby or was a little kid. Help me welcome the author of this book, Timeless. And we will find out what Timeless is all about. Help me welcome Mr. Arman Baltazar. Thank you. I used to call him Toby. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Arman Baltazar is the author of this book, Timeless. And uh, let's hear from him. Arman, welcome to our show. Thank you. And uh, what is Timeless all about? <clears throat> well, Timeless is a middle grade adventure story that I wrote for my son. And basically what it is is that 300 years from now the earth vanishes it disappears but then moments later it comes back but what comes back is completely different so we learn that time has been broken apart and then put right back together and we follow the adventure of Diego a young 13 year old boy in the city of Chicago and he is uh, uh, his father is kidnapped by a second century Roman general from out of time and when the city won't do anything to save him, Diego takes his best friends, a girl from Victorian era, uh, a boy from the Roaring Twenties, and another friend from 1984. They journey across the sea to save his dad. What an adventure <laughs> for, for Diego. Who is actually Diego? Is it your son? <laughs> he is. So I wrote the story uh -huh. for my son, and uh, he posed for me and was the inspiration, inspiration. for the main character. Yes. All right. Uh, that was that the reason you you wrote this book? You of uh, well, uh, let me uh, uh, introduce you first. Uh, you are a well-known uh, artist, uh, drawing some exciting pictures. You look at this book, so thick, and look at these exciting pictures that he did, illustrated in this book in many many pages so oh, amazing thank you. Thank how you did so you much. do that well it was a lot of hard work hard work for yeah. sure yeah it was a lot of hard work it was a lot of drawing it was a lot of painting it was a lot of figuring out how to tell a story with those pictures store a story an adventure story with a lot of pictures so who are your um, target audience well for this, for this book you know, I wrote it for I wrote for my son, uh, and he was he's fourteen now. Fourteen. And when I wrote it, I was thinking he was, you know, he was around eleven or twelve years old, and so it, it's an adventure that can be read by kids as young as eight or nine if they're really good readers, but it's also for grown-ups and adults too as well. It's kind of like um, reading Treasure Island, or Robinson Crusoe, or Robin Hood. Like a kid could enjoy a that modern, story. A modern yeah, version. A modern version, but it's, it's it, you know, and it's the kind of story that a kid could love, but a grown-up could love, too. Wow. wow. How did you think of doing this? <laughs> well, you know, I've always... Mixing was, you know, all these uh, things. I think it's, it, you as a child, it was really your passion, uh, you, you know, with uh, all these characters that you mentioned. Right. Uh, maybe you were reading all those books and uh, you incorporated it to your, uh, to what you do these days. Right. And because um, you are really a noted artist for many years now and uh, with this book I think you're you're gonna going you're going internationally world renowned author because th this has been uh, translated in how many languages this book you know I, I can't even begin to tell you um, the amount of languages it's been translated in but we've been really really fortunate that audiences from Germany Italy Spain um, Bulgaria China uh, and, and many more have, have um, wanted to this book to come out in their language. And OMG! Really yeah. You heard that. How about the Philippines? It's going to be in the Philippines, but it's I think gonna, it's going to be in English. In, in English, in the Philippines. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, that's not a problem. <laughs> that's no. not a problem with the Filipinos yeah. uh, because the uh, majority really speak English there. Right. Yeah. But in this book, you referred uh, to something like Chicago. Oh, yeah. You grew up in Chicago too, right? right? right. Until yeah. how old? 
I was here until my early 20s. You know, I was Your born, early 20s. Yeah, I, was, I was born here, um, raised here, and uh, here till my, till my yeah, early 20s. And okay, so this book is a what, Valentine yeah. to Chicago. I love Chicago, and so the series is, it always begins in Chicago and finishes in Chicago in each book. Really? Wow, I can't wait to read this book. <laughs> and you're here today for your book signing. Right. Um, uh, so what place, what places did you go, or uh, you're planning to go to for your book signing? Well, I'm going to a lot of schools, so I'm meeting kids who are interested in reading and interested in my book, and so I'm going to meet them firsthand and sign books for them. But I'll also be at uh, Bookie's bookstore on, uh, in Chicago on Saturday to sign books and meet people in person, actually show them some artwork, and maybe even do a drawing or two. What, uh, as far as you're concerned, what is the reaction of your young readers to this book? <laughs> young readers, it's been very good. You know, the thing is, is that especially kids like my son, it's wonderful for them to sort of look in these pages and see someone that looks like them. That was a big part of, of making this book. I wanted a Filipino hero in the world, you know, and... Uh, Filipino Diego is the Filipino hero. Yeah. And I wanted to give him a, I wanted to see, I wanted him to be able to see that kind of hero in a, in a really cool adventure story. And now kids everywhere will be able to see that. But the kids that have been reading the book have been really enjoying it and it really touches my heart. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Why the name Jago? <laughs> of all names. <laughs> well, you know, the, my wife, who is a lovely uh, Irish girl from the south side of Chicago, wanted an Irish name, and I wanted something that had more of a Spanish flavor, or something that, Correct. you know, was something uh -huh. much more Filipino sounding. And so we argued until the moment he was born whether his name, what his name should be. And so we, we compromised, I mean, this is on our real side. We compromised and he ended up having um, an Irish first name, Dylan, and his middle name is Diego. So uh, he, that's how we ended up with his, uh, with his name. So what did your son have to say about the book? <laughs> he's, he's pretty... What's your, what is his name? Honored. His name is Dylan. Dylan? Yes. Okay, Dylan. What did uh, Dylan say? He was pretty, um, he's, he's, he's pretty proud, and he's very, very, very uh, uh, humble, and he's, he's very happy about the book, you know, and he's happy because his dad made it for him. And uh, does he want to follow dad's footsteps? You know, the interesting thing about him is that he's a really talented kid, but his passions are in making things. I like to draw things, he likes to make things, and he likes to play guitar. So he's a musician. Oh, musical. Yeah. So, All right. So we have an artistic kid. As long as, uh, you know, uh, whatever, you have passion in what you do in the arts. And I even noticed this is really a heavy, heavy book. How many pages do you know? It's about 624 pages. And about 150 of the pages are all artwork. So there's 200 paintings in this book, in this big, thick book. My God, this is very, a very expensive book to produce. <laughs> Telling you, and how much is it? The book is only. You're selling it for. It's it's currently selling at about nineteen ninety five, so it's about twenty dollars. But in other places, it's selling for a little bit less than that. Really? Wow! My God, this is a really a nice book, a timeless book to to treasure. Thank you, Veronica. Isn't it? Okay, one last question. Where do you go from here? Oh, as a, a well, first as a uh, illustrator, an artist, and now uh, a book author, and now maybe a movie producer. Perhaps yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been really, really lucky because there are some fantastic people in uh, in Hollywood that are interested in making this into a film. So Ridley Scott, the famed director, uh, and Carlos Saldana, also a famous director. Uh, from the Blue, Ki Blue Sky Studios, have optioned the book and they are uh, developing it right now for 20th Century Fox to be a live action film similar to Harry Potter or Star Wars. So uh, if wow. all goes well, we'll see a timeless movie somewhere in the immediate future. Okay, Mahakababayan, now remember the face and the name. Armand Baltazar, we're going to have a 
a Filipino director, producer of uh, some kind of a Harry Potter, Timeless, uh, he, and uh, from Chicago. Illinois, and a son of my good friend, uh, Grace and Bill Hutton. All right, very good. Uh, one last word for our viewing audience. Thank you so much for taking the time to look at Timeless, and I hope you enjoy the adventure as much as we've had in making it. Maraming maraming salamat, Armand, uh, for gracing our show today, and congratulations. I love this book. I, I, I have time to read it, to go through this. To, and maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood. Ako po si Veronica. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.